Hey guys, it's me, Miss Reaper, and well, in this video, I am going to another dungeon within Final Fantasy XIV online. So, and as you can see, this is called the Tam Tara Deep Croft. So, um, let's see who we're joined with today. You see me out in the front, like, yep. Uh, let's party. Hello. So we've got Sasha Strokes, Core Blimey, and Alcia Sofa. Okay. We're going to do some big pulls or little pulls. Looks like we're doing some big pulls. That's fine. I'm only really in here A, to make content, B, to level up because I'm actually level 58 in my Black Mage. People would literally be like, wait, it says BLM. Why doesn't it say THM? Because I'm past level 50. Properly. These guys look like they know where they're going. I have a little mini map, like up here and over there to basically tell me where I'm going. But you know, I like to follow these guys. I'm a DPS. I've only been in here twice. Uh, once on normal, once on hard. I haven't done the extreme. And I will say um, that when you do these dungeons on normal or hard or extreme, they're not the same dungeon. You know, you expect, like, say, the same enemies, but harder. You don't. That's not what you get. <laughs> you get extra shit. But it keeps things interesting, because, like, like, a new player, you don't expect it. So we're just dealing with all these ads right now. We're basically in, like, a crypt. So it's, like... Basically zombies and dead people. Right, and up here. It seemed like we have our first boss room. You know? Okay, so that's also closed off. Another thing that I like about these is it forces you to actually kill everything in the dungeon. You can't just speed past it. I need to transpose. Okay, and now we're off onto the boss. Just gonna move forward a little bit just in case you know I do need healing. Cause on here, you don't have a self-heal, which is it makes me feel like well, I need a self-heal. You know, if I'm not doing anything with the group. I guess that's kind of why I'm also leveling up a Thamatar, not Thamatar, a Conjurer at the moment. Right, uh, let's have a look. I don't need that. But anything, you know, that could help me out with my um, Conjurer, I'll take. I mean, at the moment it's only like level 10. Right, I'm going to go into here. So, and this is like a level 16 dungeon. You know, I'm doing these in order of how they come. You know. Um, and as you can see, I've been working on late game content and some crafting stuff. Um, bollocks. So I use Transpose and then Blizzard just to get my MP back up and then I go back upon Fire. Also, because I am such a low level, I cannot use any of like my high level skills, which are like four, um, C4, C5, C6, C9. Uh, that compass is for late game as well because you need to find these Aethers. 
in order to be able to fly in your mounts. Yeah. Let's work out the wind capacity so you don't just, you know, fly and harm yourself. Right. Uh, don't need that. That's fine. Cast a lot. Catch up with these guys who are waiting. Another thing that I like about this game, people actually wait for you if you're running a little behind. You know, um, although I will say some trial groups were running off and they weren't doing their jobs, but, you know, they've probably done this so many times. You know? That was for when I was doing the main storyline. Well, I had to do some stuff to continue on with the storyline. But it's like, you know, people are nice unless you get the people that are from World of Warcraft. <laughs> but um, I've met some people that have played Elder Scrolls Online. Um, you know, other MMOs. I don't need any of this, so. You know. But. Um, I'm actually in a three company and the first time that I met someone, the name is Raz, I went, Tam, each time that I read your name, I just want to scream out Razmdar. And they knew exactly what I was referring to and they went, no, I'm not a cat. I'm like, but everyone loves Razmdar. And they're like, yes, everyone loves Razmdar. I'm like, Someone knows what who Razumdar is. I am so happy. But that was a little before a falling out. And I actually haven't been upon the Elder Scrolls Online ever since I picked up my free stuff from the Bounties of Blackwood event so that I could get Deadlands, I think it is, for free when that releases so that, you know, if say I get rid of my ESO plus, I don't have to worry. But yeah. Um, just fight off a few of these mobs. And when I say a few, I mean all. You know, you can't just run off because things are actually locked behind killing everything. It's nice. These are just basic mobs that you get outside anyway. Just kill them. They move. I take it we're not going into the other rooms. Okay. It'll be like later on content that maybe I'll see someone who's not done the dungeon before you know one dungeon I did the other day um, the first boss we did two DPS's one healer because the tank had DC'd so we were like oh, we don't know how to kick I then found out how to so I did it and then we instantly got a different tank like as soon as we kicked um, that run was alright. We were all new to the dungeon. So, like, e, we don't know what the f hell are we doing. But, yep, yeah, it's where I've got my, uh, dragon from. Uh, who you cannot see within dungeons. You can't even see that I'm in a, um, free company either. Because usually it says Alanta Aldemary Tales of the Silver Lining. Um, that other silver lining is my title. So, like, say, with Elder Scrolls Online, for example, I know that a lot of my the people that watch me come from me making Elder Scrolls Online content. So, like, say, you got a house. Um, for example, the Evan Hart Chateau. 
you would get the title of Lord or Lady, depending on the gender of your character. Well, this, um, it shows up in those little arrows with the dots. Um, but yeah. And I've been upon here recently. In fact, I haven't touched my Xbox for near enough a week, properly. I'm expecting to get kicked from a few guilds for inactivity, but I'll just put in my notes, uh, playing offline. If I do, you know, get back online. Or just taking a break, be back soon. Heesh, whichever works best. Oh no, I couldn't loot. Because cutscenes. Just making a bridge. Oh, the cutscenes in this game though. You can tell that they focused. Oh look, it's, um, what's his face from Futurama? Dr. Zoidberg. <laughs> Dr. Zoidberg. Right, um, don't need that. Right, and as well, this will lock up in about 15 seconds. Yep, as it says in the chat. So, just... Okay, uh, so when he's done this, we attack the imps. Of course, I can't really do much. I'm a famatage, black mage thing, so cast times are a bugger. I'm trying to find stuff that will reduce the amount of, like, time. But, yeesh, I'm still on, like, two seconds of casting. Right, uh, I'm going to switch to fighting a skelly. And then, oh, transpose. So, in this game, orange is the enemy's colour. I don't know if you can change the colour. Oh. But as well as a famatage, I cannot move when casting. It is a pain that I've actually gotten so used to not moving when casting uh, that it's actually going into other classes that I'm doing, like Gladiator. Um, I'm actually leveling up quite a few bits um, at the moment, but I'm doing Conjurer because of a mount that I can get. So guys, we're going to say GG that. Um, you guys can watch that. Literally, my couch just does this at the end. It's like, ah! <laughs> so happy. Okay, uh, play accommodations. I'm going to give it to... Well, I can't give it to the DPS, apparently. Right, uh, pass and pass, because I'm not doing any of those. Right, and we shall leave this dungeon. She's like, wave goodbye.